it Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. Today we are going to put that rec room that we just painted black back together. And if you're new to my channel, well, I love to make spaces beautiful on a budget. So we're here at Walmart and we're gonna find some new blinds to replace the old ones, those old dusty, nasty, blue pastel ones that's all broken up. We are back home right here in the rec room and now let's let the fun and games begin. I do have the door open, that patio door open, so you may hear all the happenings down below on the football field. So, everybody's cheering us on. Okay, let's go ahead and knock out these doors right here. There's one, there's two. And there's three right there. So these are pretty hungry, thirsty doors. Okay, let's do a really easy stain job. So I've got Rust-Oleum wood stain. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. I just got a little can because this is stain. We're gonna brush it on, and then we're going to, well, the longer it stays on, the darker it will get. So we're gonna put it on, and then we're gonna wipe it off. The cloth I'm gonna use, or the cloths I'm gonna use, because I'm gonna need multiple ones, are these white, just really nice, tightly woven cloths. They're on our website at Junk Monkey Paint. Dot com and also I'm just gonna use a little bowl I'm gonna set this out into this little paper bowl and I've got my shabby chip brush as well ooh now this is interesting this is interesting but we painted the room black yesterday so we know that things appear differently in the can than what they do once they're dry I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and see what it gives me at the end of the day these doors will say Thank you so much, Sonia. Door number two stained. Let's wipe it off. Stanley is waiting patiently for the big reveal. The third door is covered in stain. Now we wait four or five minutes and wipe it off. Now this is some really yummy stuff right here. Who knows how long these have been up? Light blue, covered in dust. Yeah, out with the old and in with the new. All right, let's clean these windows while we're looking at them as well. At this point, we do have the brackets up. But what does this mean? Mount your blind. I don't even know what that means. Anybody tell me, please? Somebody come over. It says click right there. What is this? Well, one million years later, thanks to my son, we got the blinds up. And it looks much more fresher and whiter. It does have a rod uh, place at the top. I am deciding whether or not I will hang just a light curtain, a sheer curtain over the top of it. So while he was finishing up putting the blinds up, I went around and hit some more spots that I needed to on the wall that just needed a little extra coverage. So now let's move on with progress. What do you think, kitty kitty? What do you think? What do you think? This is your apartment, huh? at Walmart today I found the cutest little succulent pretend because we all know I can't keep plants alive um, pretty piece of decor so I'm gonna put this right here on my table mm. 
One of the reasons why I like this glass table in this space is because it has the glass top, it's see-through, so that way it doesn't feel like it blocks off the space because this is a pretty small space. Small furniture goes in small spaces. So I found this really cute rug when I was at, at home. If you follow me over on Facebook, you will have been with me on this recent discount shopping trip. I love at home and I found this rug right here for $12.99 and I do like the colors that are in it. It's called Stonewash, it's really faded. It's got a little bit of red, it's gonna match my cactuses right here, or my succulents. So I think I'm gonna put it right here in front of the patio door. And this is another rug that I found at home at the same place on the same day. And I got this one for $14.99. And again, it's vintage flair, which I love. It says vintage. The lost art of a centuries old tradition is brought back in this intricate block printed and stonewashed rug. So I think it's gonna be good. Let's put it over there, maybe in front of the sink. Before we even get over to the countertop, I'm gonna show you as well a couple little finds that I acquired today on my Walmart travels. They had these really cool signs there that all that just kind of gave like all positive words and actually it shows them all there on the side. There's all different kinds of them. You know, think positively, uh, play more, be yourself, smile always. I found this design that I really liked and it looked like it was a distressed wood barn wood and I thought it would tie in with the doors in the space. The teal would tie into my pillows and my throw that I have as well on the little love seat and the black. So I'm just thinking for $9.99 this could be a nice little piece and because this is a family room I thought it would be nice to put a family sign up so it says stuff like be joyful you know it says the word family laugh care joy have fun be happy um, seek space be brave dance imagine have fun all the things that I think we should do every single day so let me find a place for this girl oh and the other two little ones that I found as well in the same section at Walmart in the uh, if you go to the frame section is they have these two designs I like them it came with a little bit of rope it's gonna be really easy for me to go ahead and just put up a little nail to hang these on and I thought maybe hanging them on one of the small walls in here and um, you know hanging them up and down like this I just gotta take out the corners and then hang them up this one says home sweet home and this one says all you need is love so I'm gonna make a set out of them and hang them one way or another I'll look around and find the right wall and you saw my vlog the other day do you remember that nice wooden bookshelf wouldn't that go beautiful right there in the corner do you know the one that I'm talking about <gasps> we got to go get that and put that there this week it's at my shop we will do that yes 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 this is a picture frame, but I might just use it to be, to make my little centerpiece feel a little bit bigger. Friends, this is a little tray as well that could work on that coffee table. The only thing is I've got to give it some TLC. When I was at home, I got this for half off, so I've got this for $5 because it has some scratches on it. Now I know when I take some of our Junk Monkey Black Antiquing Glaze that I can cancel out all these little, you know, just these imperfections from things being scraped and you know how they stack things in stores. So I think a little bit later tonight I'm gonna go live on my Facebook page and uh, just fix this up a little bit and that way I can make use of it maybe even downstairs on my coffee table or else right here in the rec room. But I think that one looks pretty cute as is anyhow. So. Whatever I decide, I do like that too. So this is another thing I wanna bring into the space. I wanted to get a tart warmer for up here. So I got this for $5.99 at my recent trip to Gabe's or Gabriel Brothers. Do you guys have one of those in your area? Positively love, love, love shopping and not breaking the bank, finding things, nice things um, for really good prices. And so I really fell in love with this tart warmer. I loved it. It reminded me of like, I don't know, like a Pooh Bear's honey pot. I loved all that in there. What do you guys think of that? So I am going to put that up 
on that counter and go find some of my favorite scents to put into it. Oh good, it came with a bulb. Yay, yay, which reminds me, I still have to get bulbs for up the track lighting up here as well. I left and forgot to take one with me today and I did not want to chance it, so we'll do that again tomorrow. We'll go back to Walmart and look for the bulb. Look at this. Now I need another bath. Do you guys see this? Do you see all the spots on my arms? That's for all the staining of those doors that we did today. I can't tell you how fresh it, it not only feels in here, but it smells in here. Even growing up, like I remember in high school, I loved woodworking and I love the smell of fresh cut lumber. I love the smell of freshly painted pieces when things are stained, when things are freshly cleaned. I don't know. I just think it, it means the smell of progress. So we're gonna put this up on the counter. I think that's the best place for it. Maybe until we get our bookshelf in place and I might put it up over in the corner. But for now, let's put it over here. So the smell we're going to put in here is the very last one I have of my Scentsy um, Smeller Upper called Mandarin Toffee Treat. Uh, it's gonna make this space smell so nice. Can you smell it? I will tell you, it smells like it smells like mandarin orange, which will give this place a nice fresh scent, but it has a sweet toffee smell as well. So just a sweet um, candy smell. Oh my gosh, so good. It smells wonderful in here and it positively looks wonderful in here, guys. Considering just yesterday, this space did not look like this. <laughs> Let's remember for a second what it did look like. That's me right over here in this chair, relaxing just like this, watching YouTube just like you. All oh, the joys. So what do you think of my little setup in here? I think the color looks amazing. It makes it really feel cozy, which is what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to feel like when I came in here, it would feel, feel like kind of like cave-like. I really like just, I don't know. I just love dark rainy days and I love, love, love comfy spaces and just hanging out, relaxing in my home that feels relaxing to me, to each their own, but this definitely feels like home to me. What was your favorite part of the flip? Were you shocked with the paint color? Did you like my rugs that I put down? Did you also get some good ideas? Are you feeling motivated to just go ahead, paint over wallpaper, do what you gotta do to change up a room, um, just to really have it give off the vibe that you want it to give off? I will see you guys back again tomorrow. Let's see what we will get into. There's always something to get into. Man, I wish I had that bookshelf because we would totally paint that bookshelf. But we will wait till we go at the shop this week and pick it up. So tomorrow we'll find another project to do. And oh my gosh, this space smells so good. So I am going to edit this vlog, get it up for you guys tonight. And then I'm going to come back in here and just enjoy all my work. See you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for liking this video, leaving me a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. What it does is it will send you alerts every single time that another video is ready for you to view. See you tomorrow, bye.